yes so let's just uh, click on that red button and we'll ring the bell yes you're most welcome my name is maurice the crochet master and thank you so much for those ones who have subscribed to my youtube channel and i told you that this youtube channel is the channel that we do all types of tutorials like concerning with hair so uh if you want to learn all those please you can just join us and if it's your first time to join me yes my name is maurice the crochet master and i go on my instagram as the crochet must uh, as maurice the crochet master so um we are going to see on how you can do short dreads from long hair you know at times uh i've been explaining this uh number one that whenever you're doing dreads or whenever you're locking because this is the most sensitive thing like you should learn uh, when you're locking try to make sure that your locks uh, you're locking like um, uh, you make sure that you leave the quarter inch as you're locking like this as you can see there's that quarter quarter inch there's that space that I always leave there you know why I leave that space I leave it because by the time I'm going to lock again like when I've put my extension it won't hurt somebody because uh, people think that dreads they're painful and that's that is why we don't need to um, we don't uh, uh, think of that for us we don't uh, we don't take it as by the way they say that uh, dreads they're painful just because the only mistake that they always do is here when they are locking at the first place some people lock up to the end like they just lock up to the scalp so when by the time they're going to pass the the, the extension you find someone is trying to uh uh, the extension is already there and the hair is already out of the scalp and then you're trying to lock again that means it is going to be painful so that's why uh, for my case i just lock once so that i leave that uh, space uh, uh that space for extension and if it's uh it's to lock uh to lock that extension still it doesn't pain at all just because i be having my space of where i'm going to lock it you can see how i'm doing it i just lock it once so that um i leave that space so there are two things because last time i told you there's the cross locking and there is that um no more locking like the way i'm doing it right now so another thing you might ask yourself like what is this one that i be applying when i'm locking this is the molding gel people always ask me and sometimes i say it here in the video but i find someone in my comment section asking me what is the uh, the oil maybe you're using yet i be saying them here so that means maybe those people sometimes they skip and they don't listen and i always tell you guys it is very very important to listen not even to see to watch the video just like that but when you listen to the word they help you to combine the two and you master something because the other things that you would see and you won't understand but when you listen maybe you can understand what i be telling you so uh this is how we just keep on looking you can see the space that i leave there you see it is still i leave that space knowing that my uh my extension when i bring my extension it's going to be very very easy for me and not painful for my client so i wish you should also learn uh, this trick because it is going to help you to master these uh dread locks to all kind of dreads that you do the other ones who do insta dreads and those ones who do natural dreads still you have to leave that uh half inch so that it help you when you're going to um 
to lock with extension so this is how we keep on doing it and another thing i told you about is you should always always try to make sure that your lines are very very perfect so like me the way i always do i can uh, we do this thing as a team but uh, sometimes i always uh, like i first i first leave my i, I first uh, do the locking down and then i i leave my other uh, colleagues to come and finish the um the dra the, the locking yes because i know there is that first touch that we uh, i need to do first because it's very important the starting is the most important thing that you should also try to uh, learn because that one will give you the uh it's the one that gives you the um uh the the good results when you're done so Try to look here very careful because it's what that brought us here. And I told you sometimes me, I don't want like to waste time when it comes to this because I know some people, they are those ones who skip things. So I just reach on the main thing so that we learn. And uh, this is how I'm going to be using a crochet to lock this. Remember always lock from the sides. But it's not like you can use a crochet only. You can even use other types of uh red uh, hooks but this one i use it i told you why i use it sometimes i use it when the hair has got a bigger volume yes a bigger volume i use it when the hair has got a bigger volume and uh, you can see how i'm using it is up and down like up this way and down that is the only trick that we'll be using and i'm using her own hair you understand so now i'm using the hook because the hair it has is now uh the volume has reduced since uh, it, i'm reaching out at the tip so after i come and i lock you see so after locking seeing my the size the way where i want it to stop uh, i can still first lock here this way you see i'm still going with the hair then i bring it up you see you bring it up just like this just like that uh-huh you see then you try to make sure that it is locked very well just like that you just bring it up yes that one is according to the height the way you want it to be bring it up just like that and it's here to get done it's here to get done you can see how i'm doing this mm, i think here my camera is somehow moving i'm going just going to uh, be clear on some other thing sorry for that but i'm going to be uh, i think you also seeing some but don't mind, never mind, we're going to do it in another step, just like that. You see how I'm doing it? And then you try to rub it just like that. And it is done. So let's take a look. Yes, let's take a look on this one very well. That um, I pass it through the other sides through the sides like that and then you divide it into three portions like that then you start locking this way then down then up and down you see I'm doing it then up and down i'm using her hair only up and down so this one uh, uh, sometimes i realize that it also help that um, since we are using someone's hair so it means when you're washing you understand when you're washing the hair or maybe you're trying to treat the hair the hair will be uh it will be able to have that treatment 
you understand it will be able to get that treatment just because it is not inside you understand what i'm saying like it's not inside the kinky like sometimes uh, some people like the way they do it and you find like the whole hair is inside so i do it this way and uh, leaving it uh, that um, even when i wash still my hair is going to get the treatment yeah it's going to have it like um, the way i wanted it to be to be you understand so this is how you look upwards this is how you look upwards i think still here the angle is bad uh, let me try to stretch a little bit the camera so that you can see something clearly understand yes that's what i'm going to do let's first finish up this one and then we stretch up and another thing so uh you can see how i keep on locking it and uh, as i'm finishing it i make sure that it is all inside it's all inside like that it is all inside wow so this is how it is but let me let me try to do something else so that uh, because here like the angle of my camera was a little bit far uh, let's try to do something else and we we'll see wow so that's how it is that's how it is let me try to do something that is clear here yes then let's try to lock it mm, let's try to lock it here you will see it very well so um in fact let me remove it and i lock it again that we can see it very well yes i would like to shout out to everyone who is watching me united states of america thank you so much for subscribing yes people in ghana uganda the pearl of africa those ones in canada wow thank you so so much i think here you can see very clearly so let me try to zoom it so that we are now clear okay so now see very well it is up and down you can see i'm doing it up and then down you can see it up and then down up and then down this is how it is it is very simple so after you come and lock first just like that and if it still have some space you can lock it twice and then uh, I try to pull the other ones you know why I remove those ones so that my ending doesn't uh, doesn't uh, become big you understand so i just bring this upwards like that and i bring this up you can see i'm doing it i bring this up just like that i bring it this way you see i'm doing it i bring it this way you see just perfect i bring it this way just like that you see just like that so i told you why i always use the crochet i use the crochet uh to make my hair uh like when the hair has got a big volume so i can see now it is remaining a small one that small one even if i use a hook still it can go yes so um, this is how you can also do it yourself it is not disturbing me because uh, i'm using the big one <laughs> yeah, the hair is small but i'm still using it but since i'm a project master this is very very simple for me yes and you can also be so now since i've remained with a small one i can use the small hook just like that you understand as i'm finishing so this is how i think now you have seen it clear so this is how we keep on doing it and when we're done with that you just try to arrange them very very um you make them well arranged 
and then after arranging them uh, you make sure you bring that uh, the, the, the cap is it the net yes then you try to cover you try to cover them after doing that but uh, you just have you need to apply the kuza conditioner yes after arranging them as you're applying the kuza yeah just apply this kuza and then when you're done applying the kuza then you put that net yes so when you pull the net you just first take someone in the dryer yeah you take someone in the dryer for um like a uh, five minutes you take someone that dry for five minutes and by the way don't forget the anti-itchy oil because that one is a must we always put it there so you put someone that dry for five minutes only and after you remove then you're good to go so for now let me sign out and guys i love you so much and keep loving hair zipper bye bye see you